Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation. Today we're going to be talking about the new gem boards deal that we just recently got today within Global, uh, as well as some updates in JP that I'm expecting to come to Global as well, um, as well as giving some of my thoughts for the future that are kind of like tying in with the whole gems and like scenario and stuff. Uh, but anyways, let's jump right into it. So in case you haven't logged in yet um, or you aren't aware, we just got a new permanent gem board within the game where each board costs 3,500 jewels and within them you can get up to 20 of that respective gem. Um, so you can get 20 power gems, speed gems, and magic gems for 3,500 jewels each. Now, this is huge for global anyways because this is the first time i believe we've ever gotten this amount of gems in a single board at once okay because I, I don't know about you guys but one of my biggest complaints anyways in regards to the game was the fact that gems were kind of starting to become not not exactly obsolete they're not obsolete but their 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 value has been going down for quite a long time now um it's even beginning to the point where i i i, I kind of feel like gems even for vip aren't really that great because they only give you two of each and two of each is is almost useless at this point uh just because of the fact that like we we really we like we're at the point in the game where we really need to be able to help get past level 35 uh, for Keyblades and getting past the level 35 in terms of gems it consumes so many gems That even even these 20 gems alone that we're getting in these boards right now that can be used up immediately like that That will only let you upgrade maybe like Three four times depending on what levels you're at and such and we're able to go up to like level 40 or 50 I believe uh, already within the game for each of the Keyblades. So it's like that's saying something. If something as ridiculous as getting 20 gems already within the game can barely let you level up maybe like, you know, two, three levels, that's that's telling you something that like, you know, gems are, are kind of not nearly as good as they used to be. Back in the day, it used to be where like hardly anybody had that shiny level 35 Keyblade, whereas now these days, practically everybody can get it fairly easily. Um, the real challenge is being able to upgrade it past 35. Uh, and realistically, especially if you're a newer player, if you ever decide to get these gem boards whenever you happen to get them, um, I would highly recommend upgrading all of your other Keyblades first to level 35 before you focus on any specific Keyblade past 35. Um, it's more efficient that way. You actually get more value from the gems you're consuming because when you level up a Keyblade, any Keyblade past level 35, you're only up actually upgrading any slot by like 0 0.02 at most. Whereas if you're upgrading up to level 35, you're always guaranteed at least like 0.5 or even at least a whole one point uh, multiplier bonus for any particular slot, like for the Keyblade. Um, which to me, that's just like the value is just so much significant in that aspect. Uh, but at the very least, in terms of these gems, because of the fact we are getting 20 of them each, I do want to recommend that if you decide to get any of these anytime soon or even the next few months or so, I highly recommend that you save at least like a few of them uh, for the future, mainly because of the fact uh, that I don't know if you guys remember, but we are expecting to be receiving a new world. Uh, and it, it's supposed to be sometime these next few months. Uh, for JP, it could very easily be sometime this coming month of October, um, or even very possibly in November. And this is primarily coming from the fact that I don't know if you guys recall, but there was a like little interview with uh, Tetsuya Nomura quite a while ago in which they actually like mentioned things in regards to how the story is going to be coming along and especially like you know whether or not it's going to be up to date with Kingdom Hearts 3 and I'll, I'll kind of post it up here on the screen but he did say that I have kept you waiting so long but the main scenario will be updated next month. Actually the scenario part of Union Cross aside from myself was partially written by the staff at Kingdom Hearts 3 and I am sorry that it couldn't be updated quicker but the wait is finally over. I think that after this the heart of the story will be evident. The next time the main scenario will be updated, there will be new characters and the connection between this character and that character will be revealed. I think it will be an interesting development. 
Now, this interview was actually posted on one of Cage Insider's uh, articles, which, which was actually written on the 6th of this month of September. So I'm full, I'm full on expecting um, some significant story updates of some sort, at least for the JP version of the game to be popping up in this coming month of October. And chances are we'll probably be seeing them for global maybe by the time that December rolls around. <laughs> whatever whatever JP gets this coming month of October, we might see maybe like December or something. And I'm not sure which interview was in the past that mentioned it, but I, I, I do remember um, them saying that there was going to be a new world coming along as well, especially with like these new characters and new story and such. Okay. Um, and with the new world always comes a new Keyblade. So it's because of this fact that I am full on expecting a new Keyblade, at least within these next few months or so, that I highly recommend that you at least keep some of the jewels you get from these uh, gem boards, or if you're not even going to get the gem boards anytime soon, just keep in mind to start saving some of your jewels uh, for any future Keyblade that's going to be coming along. Um, and this is solely because of the fact that you want to be able to try and level up the Keyblade as fast as possible. Anyways, speaking of gems and such, uh, they just announced in the JP version of the game as well that they're releasing two more additional sets of the times 20 gem boards. So it's very possible that we might see something like this coming along in global as well uh, and there are each 3500 jewels each too uh, so it's very possible that we might actually get to see three gem boards for each of the attributes so a total of nine gem boards for 3500 jewels each would that contain 20 gems this that's pretty significant okay uh, and to be honest, like this, this is something that should have happened a long time ago because <laughs> it takes way too long, uh, to upgrade Keyblades past 35. Like I'm at the point of the game where all my Keyblades are upgraded to level 35, except the reverse ones, obviously, because we don't have enough, uh, moon gems for that just yet. But everything's up to level 35. I only have like maybe three Keyblades past 35 and they're barely at level 36 and that's it. Now, one aspect I do want to raise concerning about this is that uh, normally whenever Square Enix tends to release a ton of stuff um, that are supposed to have, you know, a somewhat significant value, uh, such as gems or metals or something like that, uh, that's usually a subtle sign, if you want to call it subtle, that something new is going to be coming some sometime fairly soon like for example with these like limited vip coins for this month for example uh they have the whole stained glass uh ex plus medals <laughs> in, in the limited vip boards uh as well as some of the tier eight uh upright reverse debuffer medals that you know their abilities are outdated but they're still amongst some of the best uh, aoe medals in the game um stuff like this where it they're like blatant signs that you know, these things might start being replaced fairly sometime soon. So because of the fact that they're literally just blasting us with like all these gems, it's somewhat of a subtle sign to me that they might be coming out uh, with some new either mechanic or some new item materials or some sort uh, that might end up replacing gems or making gems obsolete of some in some way, shape or form. I don't know, but the point is that it's just a kind of sign to me that something might be coming along sometime fairly soon. Uh, so whether or not that's going to concern jewels or not, I have no idea. But if it is, it won't hurt for those of you that are veterans uh, and already have some significantly upgraded Keyblades already. It wouldn't hurt to maybe like, you know, hold off on getting the gem ports uh, for now and wait to see what's coming along. Because we already know, we already know that Nova is getting replaced with Supernova. Okay, it's literally, a you know, <laughs> uh, I wouldn't doubt it just behind the scenes at Square Enix. They're just like, hey guys, we need to buff Nova. What should we do to buff Nova? Oh, I know. Let's release a completely new mechanic that replaces Nova instead of, you know, just modifying the existing mechanic. That seems to be the general thought process that goes along every single time something becomes obsolete in the game. I, I personally, for me, I find Supernova kind of disappointing just because of the fact that, like, well, what's the point of having Nova then if it's just going to replace by Supernova? They could have just buffed up Nova, to be honest, but whatever they gotta make money somehow so it's like uh, on the business end of things i understand why they did it but as a player i just find it kind of 
disappointing and lackluster. I don't know, you guys can let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. But aside from that, the last thing I wanna mention for this video is the fact that they also released in JP um, a new skills to thrills deal as well. But, but however, what's actually probably the most exciting aspect of this skills the thrill deal is the fact that every single skill that comes in the skills the thrill deal that's coming along uh, i'm assuming it's coming along for global for sometime fairly soon too is the fact that every single skill is a max skill now it shows up right here as the jp thing um and, and like you know they're weird names okay but i'll, I'll just kind of translate this real quick but we have listed here as a attack boost five max i believe i don't know what the four is defense boost four four max i believe as well as attack boost seven or eight max engage zero i like it shows a three here so i want to say it's eight but like we haven't received i don't know it seems too weird for global for us to receive eight just yet especially when eight just came out it's supposed to be the reward for coliseum uh who knows but anyways uh we'll also be getting attack boost five max and lux plus plus uh and poison max paralysis max and the new sleep max skills are actually going to be appearing in the skills the thrill deal as well which is honestly pretty exciting the fact that we're finally finally getting actually like separate uh prints of the skills is honestly much needed uh, especially for those of us that like using element strategies in pvp uh, personally i know a lot of people are excited about the sleep max skill i'm personally excited about the sleep max skill as well uh, one thing i do want to clarify though uh for those of you who like using elements i know many of us were super excited to receive the sleep max skill for you know the organization medals and such so that we can use in pvp uh, and i know i stated or at least, you know, was inferring in my uh, how to skip three medals guide. Uh, I'll leave a card up above in case you're curious about that. Um, kind of more or less stating that in order to skip three medals in PvP, you need to use sleep uh, ailment specifically. Uh, I just want to let you guys know that uh, I've confirmed that this is not exactly completely true. From what I've been told, and as well as like, and I've made sure the test to confirm it's true, is the fact that the only way to actually skip three medals is to use vanilla ailments, okay? Only the vanilla ailments alone can actually skip three medals, okay? Uh, any other actual like upgraded version of the ailment skill, such as like max skills or uh, triple threat and such, any of these type of skills will only skip two medals. Only the vanilla ailments for some weird reason actually skip three medals. Sure, it does take away from the fact that maybe you might not want the sleep max skill nearly as much. However, what I do want to state that is that I still find sleep max to be super useful just because of the fact you do have two sleep pet boosters instead of the one paralysis booster so at the worst case scenario you can still use one of the sleep boosters on like turn one for example as an attack to get rid of the opponent's asuna pet skill and then on turns two or three or even both you can start using paralysis and even sleep again if you really wanted to so even though sleep max is confirmed to not be able to skip three medals anymore it is still super useful and probably a lot more versatile to use than paralysis max actually is Although, of course, the benefit of paralysis is the fact that you can actually use it anywhere in the setup where you have to use sleep within near like the end of the setup. So that's kind of the drawback between the two. But other than that, that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick update. Uh, I know I haven't been posting much lately. I do want to let you guys know as well that I am planning to resume my normal posting and streaming schedule on Twitch uh, sometime next week, hopefully Monday. Uh, but I am planning to resume it. I know I haven't really been as active that much uh, in my videos and I haven't really been streaming either. Uh, and that's just purely because of the fact I've been basically just trying to update my site and get it like as uh, up and running as much as possible. I still have quite a bit of work to do on the site, but at the very least, most of it is already up and running and working and stuff. So now I can start going back to my old uh, streaming and posting schedule for you guys. But just wanted to let you guys know that. But other than that, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. Uh, let me know what your guys' thoughts are about the whole gem deal and whether or not maybe something might be coming in the future and such. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kinemite Team Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace, y'all.